Hello and welcome back to another video. Today is arguably going to be my most important video in my opinion, and that is how to change the skin color on an avatar. This includes skin with nothing on it, this includes skin with tattoos, this includes absolutely anything. Now we have been given an amazing skin color based pack from Uni, I will also link that in the description. I would suggest using those if your avatar doesn't have tattoos or if your avatar is simply using another base. Now this specific tutorial is going to be over saying let's say the avatar has tattoos or there's just not a skin color that represents you in this pack that I will link below. I'm going to show you how to change it. This video is going to be maybe 10 minutes long, maybe slightly longer, just because I want to get into the details, but the actual process itself should only take three to five minutes. It is a short, simple process that only has limited steps and it will give you quality in which I can promise you that. Whether or not you're an avatar creator looking to create more skin colors for your avatars with having the tattoos that you want or you are just somebody who is looking to have some sort of representation and wanting your avatar to represent your skin color without losing the at tattoos or having limited knowledge in a photo editing software. This is beginner level stuff. You do not need to know anything about photo editing. I promise you this is super easy. Today the avatar we are using is Raven by Yuri. I will link that in the description and we are using Unity 2019 but as always the same steps apply to Unity 2018. Looking at this avatar right in front of us, we can see that it has tattoos and a lot of people get intimidated by trying to change the skin colors because you think you're going to lose the quality of the tattoos. I am here to tell you that is not the case. So we are going to take our base, which is this one. As you can see, one layer can't separate the tattoos. You could, you have the emission layer, but in order to mess with that, you'd have to cut out all the black and then you have the shapes. We don't need any of that. We just need the main base, which is right here. Save your main base to your computer and your head and open a photo editing software. I use GIMP. GIMP is a free photo editing software that is available to everyone, but please keep in mind these steps work for absolutely every single photo editing software because every photo editing software out there has these tools. Now we can see I already have my edited ones here, but now we are going to teach you from scratch how to do this. So I have my tutorial skin so I know which is which, and here we see plain white skin. Now, there's two steps we're going to have to do. The first is we're going to have to come into our layer section of our software and we are going to right click. We are going to add a layer, new layer, and there should be a mode for your layer. So find where the mode is, find where you can see all of this. This comes with burn, this comes with overlay, it comes with all of this. You are going to have to specifically find the mode multiply. Your layer has to be set to multiply mode. That is a key thing when we are doing this. Hit OK and make sure that your layer is above your skin. That's all you need to do that requires any photo editing knowledge. Even then, it will take you two seconds. Next, grab your paintbrush tool and choose a brown skin color that best represents you. For now, I'm just going to go with this one. Bring your brush all the way up and color straight over. As you can see right here, I instantly changed the skin color and if we zoom in, the tattoo quality remained the same. That is all it took. That is it. Now remind yourself that if you don't like the color of skin you are using and you're like, this doesn't represent me, this isn't the one I want, control Z will undo it. Make sure before you do a new layer of brown, a new layer of whatever you would like, please make sure you're starting at the base. Overlaying layer after layer after layer can cause it to look pixely in Unity, so please make sure you're only doing one at a time. Let's say you go with a skin color that's very dark and you're like, well, this is the kind of tone I want, it has the undertones that I want, but it's too dark. There is an opacity layer, which you can slide up. It's as easy as that, sliding down to make it darker, and sliding up. So for this tutorial, I'm going to just make it a light brown. I'm gonna quickly go over it here. And we're going to keep the same color saved here and make sure you don't change that. 
file, export it, and make sure your skin is a PNG, a JPEG or a PNG. It cannot be the uh, layered, if you have it as anything, I can't remember exactly what Photoshop will send it as, but anything other than a PNG or a JPEG is a photo editing software's layer. So if you drag it into a photo editing software, you'll still have your multiple layers separated. We want them together compressed into a 2D image. So we're going to export that as a PNG. It's going to be different for every photo editing software, so please just figure, you know, what works best. We are going to drag our skin into our Unity project. And there it is down there, tutorial skin. I'm going to click on the body, pull down the material, drag and drop this tutorial skin into every place where the skin originally was, the white skin. And it is as simple as that. It is as simple as that. Now, I already had a skin color I previously planned on using, so I will also use that. Just because it is the skin color I would like. And as you can see, beautiful skin right here. Absolutely fine. Tattoos are still black. Everything is what we want it. The same steps you are going to repeat for the head. Everything I just showed you, take the head texture, pull it into you, your photo editing software, and do the same thing. The only thing you might have to do a little bit different is erase around specific parts like the tongue or the eye whites, so things that you still wanted to remain the same color. But other than that, it should be perfectly fine. Take your head, and we are going to drag and drop. Oh, this is our body. Silly me. Our face, we're going to drag and drop into absolutely every place that the original skin color was for. Now with this one, as you're going to notice when I put it into Metcap, it becomes darker. Correct? Now that's not what we want now. There's a few things we can do to fix this to make it match and it's just fiddling with Unity. I'm going to specifically turn off rim lighting and I'm going to play around with the Metcap. Play around with replace with Metcap, intensity. Bam. I successfully successfully matched the head to the skin color. Again, if it's slightly off, like in my case, let's say if it was slightly off, I could just go down back to Metcap or Rim Lighting, adjust it, and make it match. It is as simple as that. You've successfully changed the skin color. I genuinely hope this helps some people or anyone else who is wanting to learn. It is as simple as one, two, three. Have a great day.